Welcome back to No Code Devs. In today's video, we're gonna look at SEO settings for dynamic pages in Wix Studio. We'll show you how to update SEO settings that so when you add a dynamic page to your site through the content management system, the SEO settings will update automatically based on the items in your CMS. We'll also show you how to update the slug so that it automatically updates based on the fields in your CMS. This is a great way to optimize your content management system and the items in that system to be SEO friendly. Let's dive in and show you how this all works. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe, and comment with any questions. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this. We've landed in the Wix Studio dashboard where we can create and manage our websites. What we're gonna do here for this tutorial is create a brand new site so that you can follow through from beginning to end on how we add a collection and dynamic pages to our site and then thereafter edit the SEO settings for that collection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new site. You can choose from a blank canvas or a template. It really doesn't matter here, but we're gonna go ahead and choose blank canvas just to keep things simple for this tutorial. Once this spins up, we're essentially just gonna have a blank page and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a content management system or a collection to our site so we can show you how to edit the SEO settings of this dynamic content. Okay, so we have our page here. On the left-hand menu, we have this button at the bottom here that looks like a spreadsheet, which is called CMS or content management system. If we go ahead and click that, we're able to easily add a content management system to our site. We click this button here. We're presented with some options. One is to start with a preset collection, which is what we're gonna do. So we have some sort of test data in our content management system, but you could also start by scratch and build your own custom fields if you would like. So let's go ahead and choose start with a preset. And we have some presets here. So we have this e-commerce preset. We have a team member preset. We have a portfolio or project preset and we have news items. So let's just go ahead and choose projects for the sake of example, and we're gonna add this to our site. It's actually gonna build not only the list view of all of our projects, but the dynamic pages for those each, for those individual items of our project. So I'll show you what that means here. It brings us right into the collection view when we set this up, which is really nice. And as you can see, it set up some dummy data here with a project. Um, title, the descriptions, the order, um, the slug, an image, and all kinds of nice things. The other thing that it's done here is if we go into our project pages, we can see we have our home page, and then we have these two dynamic pages here. The first one is project all, and on this page, we can actually see all of our projects in this nicely laid out grid view. You can change how this looks, of course. We're not going to do that for this tutorial. But what it's also done is it's created a dynamic page for each one of the projects in our content management system, which is super nice. As you can see, we're looking at project name number one, but we have collection items for all of our projects here. We can actually preview them individually, and these are all created dynamically when you add an item to the CMS. I'll show you what that means here. If we head back over to our content management system, and we click on your collections, we can see our projects collection, which is our only collection here. If we were to add an item, let's call it project seven, we can just copy this down. We can add an image, let's just go ahead and do that. We can use uh, media from Wix for this. Let's just choose this image here in the spirit of Halloween. Click add to site. And we'll just copy the rest of this text. Okay. And what you can see here is as I'm filling this in, one thing that's already happened is it's already built a slug for this project. So it's our domain. If we were using a custom domain, whatever that would be, slash projects slash project 07. So it's automatically created a dynamic page for this project. And also if we come out of here and we head back to our pages and we go to the projects all page, we are going to start to see our new project is automatically and dynamically added to this list view. So it's aggregating all of our projects in this list view, which is super cool. We can also go to the dynamic page for this project and we can see here is project seven with the information that we added. So this is great. One thing I want to show you now is how can you 
update this SEO settings for all these dynamic pages all at once. It's really easy to do in Wix Studio. What you need to do is when you're on any dynamic page is you simply click these three ellipses here and you can go into the SEO basics for the dynamic pages. And check this out. You can actually pull in fields from your content management system into this, these SEO settings. So it's actually already done some of this for us. So what's the page title in the search results? So this could be like my homepage, my website, whatever it might be. And then we could pull in the title. You could also pull in other information from the content management system. So let's just see what we have here for the meta description. We're pulling in the description. Let's just say we wanted the short description instead. That might be a little too long. So we've chosen short description here. We can pull in keywords if we'd like, as well as the any images that are in our content management system, we can pull in images here for the social sharing images, which are super, super cool. If we wanted to add some keywords, but we don't have any available in our collection, this would be super easy to fix. If we go back to our collections here, we can manage our fields and we can actually add a new field. Let's just say we wanted to make this field a tag. Okay, we'll call it tags. Okay, so as we come back into our collection here, it's created this new field called tags. We can add a tag called maybe like website. Maybe this one is logos. Maybe this one is design system. You get the idea, so you can add these different tags. Now, if we close out of our content management system and we go back to our page, where we have this dynamic page where we can edit our SEO, we can come back here and what are the pages keywords we can actually now add a field and from the tags so now if we want to add a keyword to this page for instance we can just go to our field choose tag and it would actually pull the tag associated with that item so you can add some seo data into these fields here which is super cool another thing that you can do is if you head over to page info you can dynamically pull in the slug from any item in your CMS. So you could pull in the title, which I think makes the most sense here. You could do the short description or the tag if you would like, but to keep it unique, you would want the slug to be the title of each item in your CMS. So super cool. You can have these populate dynamically. And then as you add them to your CMS, the URL structure is built accordingly. And then all the SEO data is pulled from the item in your CMS. There's also some advanced settings here with caching and how you can filter and sort. If you want to speed up the page, if you have a lot of items on your page, you might want to cache manually versus automatically. You can also change some of the permissions. These aren't related to CEO or SEO rather, but I just wanted to show you that this is all here in this menu. So this is just a quick run through on how to update the SEO for your dynamic pages automatically. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, be sure to comment with any questions and subscribe. Thank you for being part of the No Code Devs community. Have a good day.